Hey guys, today I'm going to be cleaning my whole house and doing some major kitchen deep cleaning. I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite cleaning hacks and it's going to help you get your refrigerator sparkling clean with minimal effort, I promise. I'm also going to be doing some decluttering and organizing and some satisfying cleaning all over my house. I hope this video will be motivating and inspiring or maybe even entertaining for you. I'm gonna be sharing with you some amazing new cleaners and then also a crock pot meal that will be perfect for when it gets cold. So stay tuned. We have a lot we're going to be doing today. Tell me how to be closer to ya. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Cause I just want to make you feel what we do about you. So I had a lot that I wanted to accomplish over the next couple of days and normally when I start out cleaning, I don't start out with the hardest task. Typically, I will start out by picking up the kitchen and the living room first and just getting the clutter put away, but honestly, I was dreading cleaning my refrigerator, so I just wanted to knock that out, knock it out of the way first. So as you saw, my refrigerator was super gross and I desperately needed to deep clean it. And the way I'm gonna show you how I clean it, it's one of my favorite ways to deep clean my refrigerator. I'm gonna share with you an amazing refrigerator cleaning hack and it just makes cleaning the refrigerator so easy. So what I do is I run my bathtub with super, super hot water. I add in some Dawn dish soap and then I take the refrigerator shelves and I put them in the tub and give them a little bath. And as you can already see, some of the stuff was actually falling off of the shelving from just being in the hot water for a few seconds. And I've shown this before on my channel and I've gotten a few comments about people thinking it's gross. Like, why would I put a refrigerator shelf in my bathtub? But my bathtub was clean before, it will be cleaned after, and it works. Like, it really, really works. And my refrigerator shelving is getting washed right now while I get to clean up the rest of the kitchen and the living room. So it's kind of like double duty, and I don't have to put in a lot of effort, scrubbing, or anything. trying to move as quickly as possible because obviously I have food sitting out. So while the shelves were still soaking, I wanted to wash out the drawers and the organization bins that I have in the refrigerator. And to do that, I'm using the Dawn Power Wash and this stuff is amazing. I really think it does a better job than just straight up Dawn and water. So I was using this to spray and quick wipe out all of the drawers the organization bins and then I was going to use it to spray and wipe out the refrigerator and it just did an amazing job with minimal scrubbing again and I will have all of the refrigerator acrylic organizers the bins that I use linked in the description I'm gonna go ahead and put my Instagram right here. I would love it for you guys. If you have an Instagram, if you wanna come over, find me, 
I share more of my personal life, more of my kids, more of my day-to-day -day life over there. So I will have it linked below, but come over, find me, and make sure you message me and say hi. I was wiping everything down with a microfiber cloth and then the Dawn Power Wash and wait till you see me pull those shelves out of the tub. With literally no scrubbing, they came out sparkling clean. And then I just pulled them out to let them dry for a few minutes while I went back down to finish the rest of wiping out the refrigerator. So you guys are also going to get a bonus crock pot recipe. Um, I'm going to show you what we made for dinner tonight and it was just a really, really good dinner. So stay tuned for the crock pot meal. But after I was done washing the shelves, it was time to restock and pull out all of the food and put it all back and organize. But before we move on, I want to thank you all for watching this video. You know, I just hope that when you guys come to my channel, when you're watching my videos, you feel motivated, you feel inspired. Or maybe I just make you smile. Maybe I may, maybe I entertain you in some way. Whatever it is, I just know that the world can be a little bit heavy now. We're all dealing with a lot. There's a lot going on. Life can be overwhelming. We just all have stresses going on. And hopefully my videos can provide some type of escape for you, can provide, you know, happiness. And I would just love to create a community, like a happy community where we can chat and help uplift each other. And in my last video, I asked you guys to share some things that you're looking forward to or something positive in your life. And you shared so many wonderful things. And I want to continue that. So if you have anything positive going on in your life, something that makes you happy, it can be super small, like a snack that you're going to have later on. Let me know in the uh, comment section. Let's spread some positivity so we can be there to uplift e each other. So what I was planning on doing next is I noticed when I put the silverware away earlier in the morning, when I emptied the dishwasher, we had a ton of crumbs in our silverware drawer. And I don't know how crumbs always find their way into this specific drawer, but it's kind of gross when you go to grab out a clean spoon or fork and you see all of those crumbs. So I wanted to get it taken care of today and I was just using my Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice multi-surface spray to wipe out the drawer. This is kind of my go-to for wiping inside of my cabinets and the scent just adds a nice little 
pick me up and, you know, throughout the house. Worst one, ask anybody else, who they prefer. If it comes down to me and you, I think that you are the one with a bad attitude. What sort of conflict you got no clue? Tell me what is your problem? All is wrong. So under my sink was a mess like this is how it looked since we redid our cabinets a month ago i'm and i think part of the issue is we had to take all of the stuff out when they were redoing our cabinets so when they were done we just kind of shoved it all back under there and with the cabinets being painted we didn't want to put the door like i have little door organizers that i would lay that would sit over the cabinet doors I didn't want to put those back um we're just afraid that it might chip off the paint or something so we're not able to utilize that space on the doors so i do plan on reorganizing everything um but it'll probably be after the first of the year i just don't really have time right now with the holidays coming up i'm just dedicating a lot of my time to other stuff but I do want to reorganize this and find a better system since I don't want to hang anything on the cabinet doors anymore. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go in here and just kind of organize it a little bit or as best as I could. All these rumors you spread doesn't make you feel good too, So it really is hard to lose all of the storage space that I had on each door, but I have some ideas that I'm going to reorganize this with. It's just not something I want to do right now. Maybe after the first of the year, that's usually when I get in my little bug to start organizing. So this should hold um, and we'll make it do. We'll make do until the first of the year. Um, when I start doing some more organization, but I put all of like my main cleaners right here that I always grab for. Um, I have my DIY cleaner right up there. Um, and then these are my other most used, the Jaws and Mrs. Myers. And then um, I'm glad I was down here because I thought we had more from Costco in the back of our pantry, but we don't. So I just added that to the grocery list. I have my um, Jaws refill pods there all of my sponges and my e-cloths that i use um, on a daily basis right here um, my mrs meyers baking soda cream cleanser and the vinegar uh, gel cleanser and then my alcohol that i make my diy cleansers and these are all of like my oven cleaners floor cleaners we've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications it felt so good to get under the sink organized and the refrigerator cleaned out because clearly those were two things that had been like that for a while and desperately needed to be done and it kind of motivated me to keep going because 
you know, like when I clean my sink, yeah, it's satisfying and I love doing it, but I have to do that every day or every other day, you know, like I clean it and it gets messy or dirty a second later. But with the fridge or under the sink, like let's cross my fingers and hope it stays pretty clean and organized for a while. I love my Rubbermaid power scrubber and I don't know um, if the camera got it in focus but there was some gunk or whatever stuck on to the faucet and the Rubbermaid power scrubber took care of all of it and I just I love it I love using it on my sink I love using it in my shower all over my house and I think I got it from Target but I will have it linked below but I think the most common question I get is how it's different than an electric toothbrush and all I can say is it's more powerful and it also comes with multiple heads that you can switch out that have different shapes so you can get into different areas and cracks and crevices. So the last thing I was planning on doing here on day one was I wanted to wipe down under the cabinets and the baseboards in the kitchen and then I was going to vacuum and mop and um, I've noticed that since I have white cabinets and white baseboards in the kitchen you can see more food splatters or food that gets stuck up under the cabinets like I don't notice it on the actual cabinets but I guess probably food falls on the ground and then just kind of gets smashed up against the baseboards I guess I'll blame it on the kids probably specifically the twins um, but I wanted to go down there and wipe it all up before I vacuumed and mopped So then to mop, I was using my O Cedar Spin Mop in Tide, powdered Tide. And I know you guys are going to be like, what? You're using laundry detergent to mop your floors? Um, but if you follow the Instagram account Go Clean Co, she swears by using two teaspoons of powdered Tide to mop your floors. She swears by it. And she has a cleaning company and a ton of followers. So she's tried this out a million times. There is no buildup. I think that's the first question and honestly the first question I had. Um, but I don't see any buildup on the floor. I do think it does a really, really good job. And um, it's not the only cleaner I use to clean my floors. I have kind of like a rotation, but I do suggest trying it. I think it works really good. I mean, Tide is designed to break up 
grease and um, food particles and all of that on clothes and it does a really good job on the floor as well hey guys so day two of my two-day weekly cleaning um i only have an hour and a half at most i'll be lucky to get an hour and a half but um the twins are napping right now they're actually going to be up soon but we have to get ready to go somewhere in about an hour and a half so that's why i'm like oh i barely have an hour and a half i need to get this upstairs <laughs> cleaned up so i'm gonna get started in the other rooms and then when the twins wake up i'll jump in their room and try to get everything cleaned up but this is gonna be like a speed clean up here let's see if i can do it i am motivated to get things done i remember the day when we started talking we were kids and i knocked down all of your marbles but you did not seem to mind at all we took our bikes to the lake at so I've been getting a lot of messages about how I'm liking my new vacuum. So the vacuum you saw me use downstairs, which is the Shark Apex Light, I got it a few weeks ago and I will tell you, I really, really like it. I'm so glad I bought it. You'll see me using my cordless Dyson V7 Animal here upstairs. And I've been keeping that cordless Dyson here upstairs. And then I keep the corded vacuum downstairs since we spend more of our time downstairs and that's where the kids are making the bigger messes and the dog is spending most of her time. But here's my assessment. I love the vacuum. I think it does an amazing job and I'm glad I bought it. But I've noticed, um, or and I've also noticed that when I run my robotic, robotic vacuum, the Roomba, um, like after I vacuum, like if I were to, it doesn't pick up much, which means the shark is doing is pretty much picking up everything. So it, it truly does a great job, but I still love my Dyson cordless. And honestly, I think I will always have a cordless vacuum and then a corded vacuum. A corded vacuum is just going to pick up more stuff. It has more power, more energy than a cordless vacuum. So I'm not, you can't compare the two because it's like comparing apples to oranges. To me, they serve different purposes and I truly love having a corded vacuum and a cordless vacuum. I will say the Shark is pretty loud and um, I love it for carpets, but I love my cordless Dyson for hard floors better and stairs. No, So this is a new product I recently picked up at Target and I want to try it out tonight. I'm going to give it a little bit more time, try it out more before I give a full review. But it's Bona Antibacterial uh, Surface Cleaner and you can use it on ceramic tile. You can use it on a bunch of different surfaces and I think it's new. I saw it at Target and I think they also sell it at Walmart and I figured it would be something good I can use on my floors in my bathroom. I just like how it's antibacterial and um, I really like the regular Bona floor cleaners. There's a wood floor cleaner that I like. Um, so I figured why not try this out and I'll give you guys a full review here soon after I use it a few more times. I popped into the twins room just to pick things up and then I'm going to go back downstairs to start my crock pot meal so I can get that going. It'll all be okay, just listen to me as I say. Hey 
taking a quick break. I'm gonna get dinner going. Um, we haven't tried it before, but I'm really, really excited. Um, it sounds so good. It's lemon garlic, crock pot lemon garlic chicken, and I'm gonna make some red skinned baby potatoes and some green beans with it. So I'm gonna get that going. It's super simple, super easy. So I'm gonna get it going and then I'll show you guys what it looks like later tonight when we eat. Okay, so I was a little short on time, but it's just chicken breast, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, red chili, pepper flakes, um, paprika, Italian seasoning, butter, some lemon juice, and chicken broth. I'll have the recipe linked down below, but I'm gonna get it going. And it already smells good and it hasn't been cooked okay, yet. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys, this is what it looked like when it was done cooking. I have some potatoes and green beans in the oven. Oh, potatoes in the oven, green beans on the stove top, but it looks pretty good. I'm kind of proud of myself. I never thought you would take over my mind Cause I've been lost But I'm giving you all of my time Isn't that good enough? Changing my patterns a lot So obviously I added that clip of the finished crockpot meal from later on in the night But after I got the meal started the crock pot meal going i came back upstairs to vacuum in the twins room and then i was going to wipe down and clean their bathroom as well as qu quickly pick up the basement the basement wasn't bad at all it wasn't its normal toy disaster because i had avery clean up the toys recently but there's just a few things i wanted to pick up and then i wanted to vacuum because um or use my uh, Roomba my robotic vacuum because I was short on time and I wasn't gonna have time to vacuum so I thought I'd throw that down there and let it go don't forget to come over and find me on Instagram I'll have it linked below um, but I definitely share more of my life over there, um, and I like connecting with you guys. You guys have been messaging me, saying hi, so that's always nice. But if you guys have an Instagram and you want to come over and say hi, come do it. So I have to thank one of you guys. Um, I've shown before how messy Avery can be with her toothpaste here in the bathroom, in the sink, and how she leaves toothpaste all over when she spits the toothpaste out. And I had an incredibly nice viewer suggest maybe Avery, like show Avery how to clean up the mess, you know, like how she can wipe out the toothpaste herself. And it was first off nice to have a suggestion said in a very like, um, nice way you know some people will say things about the messes my kids make or me cleaning up after my kids and they don't say it in a nice way um, but this viewer was very nice and gave me like a really helpful idea so that's what I did I've been showing Avery how to clean up I mean obviously she cleans up her messes throughout the home but sometimes like as a mom you just go in and you just do it you know what I mean like I'm cleaning the bathroom so is it really that big of a deal for me to wipe out the toothpaste no but does it make my life easier if she can grab a towel really quickly and wipe down her toothpaste mist yeah it does make my life a little bit easier so thank you to the viewer who suggested that because we've been implementing that and um there is definitely less mess together, together, together. Woo! <laughs> i am hot that was a true speed clean i know you guys see me speed clean speed clean every week but i was really moving um but i got it done for the most part i didn't get avery's room done but um i had her pick up her room yesterday and all i had to do was vacuum so i'll run the roomba in there when it's done in the basement so either way the house is clean kind of <laughs> um either way it was a successful two day whole house clean with me. I'm gonna go cool down, get ready. We gotta run some errands, but thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you were motivated. <laughs> Bye.